Mill Creek Metro Parks Police have identified the two men involved in the tragic accident. Authorities tell us 35-year-old Brian Costantini of Boardman was killed when a large tree fell on his golf cart. His brother-in-law, Jordan Hardwick, was also hurt. First News senior reporter Jerry Ricciuti talked with investigators today. Boardman firefighters were on the scene in just three minutes, but knew they had their hands full when they arrived at Mill Creek Park's North Course Saturday morning. Two people in the golf cart, one victim was able to get out of the golf cart and the other one was still kind of pinned underneath the tree inside the golf cart. It happened on the course's 17th hole. Because of the weight of the fire trucks, employees used other golf carts to carry crews and their equipment out to the scene. We would guesstimate the tree to be probably somewhere around 20,000 pounds. Firefighters tell me the tree was 36 inches in diameter at its base and over 100 feet tall. It had completely fallen over, roots and all. While waiting for the coroner to arrive, workers at the course brought a large backhoe out to the hole to try and lift the tree off the cart. But the backhoe loader itself couldn't even pick the tree up. We had to, to basically cut all the limbs off the tree and, and get it down to a trunk, a manageable size, that that large loader could even lift that trunk of the tree. Although the one victim initially refused medical treatment at the course, it took nearly two hours to free the other victim. Investigators tell me the accident has been the subject of a lot of widespread speculation about the tree that fell Saturday morning, but firefighters tell me now that most of those rumors are not true. Including stories that the tree was in bad shape prior to the accident. Every point that we cut off the tree, there was no, no rot or anything like that. It appeared to be in, in perfectly healthy tree. In Boardman, Jerry Ricciuti, WKBN 27 First News. Executive Director of the Mill Creek Metro Parks, Aaron Young, released a statement today about the incident. He said, we do not have any reason to believe that this was anything other than a terrible, tragic accident. Our deepest condolences go out to the family. Young went on to say, throughout the Metro Parks, trees that appear dead and pose a risk to park visitors are removed. However, in this case, the tree was alive when it fell. Still sunny and warm and with no clouds, well, those conditions will continue. But this dry trend is also expected to continue. So what issues is that posing? Let's get the latest now from Chief Meteorologist Paul Wetzel in the Weather Center. Yeah, absolutely starting to watch. Hi, everyone. I'm Lindsay Watson. Thanks for watching the WKBN 27 First News YouTube channel. If you want more video news, subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the WKBN 27 First News app for breaking news alerts.